Hey guys, welcome back to a new video, and today we are doing the West Brom career mode in FIFA 22, and it is season three. Um, it is the first of November, and we are out of release month, and we're in season three already. I hope you guys did enjoy the first two seasons as much of I as I as sorry about that as I have recording it. This is an awful lot of fun in trying to get West Brom back. Not we've already got them back to the Prem, but let's we'll get them to European glory. And obviously this year we're in the um, we're in the Conference League actually, which which is really interesting. Because uh, it's obviously a new competition, both in real life and in the game. I've never played it before. This is obviously my, this is actually my first career mode on FIFA 20, as you guys know. So never played the Conference League, never played the Champions League, then we've even played the Europa League. So. It's all a bit new now. We started off getting a really good free agent signing in Divine. 19 year old, 74 rated Irishman. I wonder whose region that is. Um, I want to say Seamus Coleman, but I think he's a bit too good to be Seamus Coleman re re region. I, I just don't know whose region he would be. Um, went there for a Burnley left back, obviously Bowling. Kind of reminds me of Maxwell Corne, who is a Burnley player actually, because they're both from the Code of War um, and play for Burnley. So he kind of gave me Maxwell Corne vibes, and both left back slash left wing. Which, yeah, I actually thought that had somewhat of a link now. 76 race are probably going to take over Cresswell's position. Obviously, he is, what, 13 years younger than Cresswell? Um, so, and the same rating, so. And that's a huge advantage, and he is hopefully going to last us the whole series. I think he will. I think him and Divine will, um, just because they'll probably grow. Um, hopefully, we can get into around 85, 86. But um, yeah, now I wanted to learn out Reyes. Only managed to score one goal last year. And I thought Ajax would actually be a really interesting move for him, even though Ajax are technically a bigger club than us. Um, but yeah, uh, we also rejected an offer from Napoli. Uh, for Chela Chalaba, who obviously on the bench as it stands, just because we moved to a four at the back system, where we don't need the three the three centre backs anymore. So it's between him and Dara because Andrade is just higher rated and younger than both of them. When in uh, for Gilmore here, I was contemplating bringing back Gallagher, but I thought I wanted to get Gilmore just because I never used him before in a career mode and. And he has a game face, which I really love. I love signing players with game faces, and I find find this sort of realistic as well. So he's not learn at Norwich right now. Norwich probably going to the Championship. What league are we in in real life? The Championship. So I felt sort of realistic move here. Don't think he'd ever come to us in real life. I think it, next year Norwich probably will go down. I see him going back to like a mid-table Premier League club on loan, not to. To a team like us, who right now it's not even certain if we'll go go up because of our um, loss to Fulham uh, the other day. Was it two days ago now? Three days ago? She's still a bit disappointed for that. And about that now, you guys are probably like, no, why are you selling Callum Robinson? Well, 28, 78 rated. It's now never to really cash in for him. I wanted 23 and a half million to start off with. Seventeen and a half is what they bumped it up to, so I said you, you can give us nineteen and a half million and we'll let you have Callum Robinson and they accepted it. Bit of a risk. But we went in for someone who was at Real Social Dad. Bit of business here with, with us and Real Social Dad <laughs> Real Social Dad. Um Yeah, so we sold Callum Robinson to them. He plays in the same position as I have to re I'm sorry, I'm, I do not know how to pronounce his name, so I'm just going to call him Ander, because that's his first name. Um, so I went in here for Ander, who plays in Robertson's position. I thought, this is actually sort of realistic if this happened in real life, just because Robinson taking his position. Robinson, they wouldn't sign Robinson just to be a bench player, would they? Because he's got a, an overall 78, so thought it'd be realistic they'd want to cash in from now and we actually only had to pay around 26 million would have liked the price to be a bit lower but as you guys will see he has a really good rating to start off of 78 um same rating as robertson just seven years younger which i feel is uh is really good wages as well 
not that much. We're going to run a five-year contract. Maybe in the future we'll prob we might sell him for, for double that or triple that. Uh, an interesting offer here for Semi Ajay and for Connor Townsend as well. Probably, I think Connor Townsend's ahead of the pecking order in the left backs of Cresswell. I, just, I feel like Callum Robinson plays better on FIFA than Cresswell for me. I, I don't know what it was, but when I played with Cresswell in season, uh, when I played with Callum Robinson, uh, not Callum Robinson, Townsend, sorry, Townsend in season one, he felt good and he actually made attacking runs, whereas um, Cresswell was decent but didn't have the same attacking runs uh, now we started off well here against West Ham on the opening day um, and uh, getting involved there I, I really don't know how to pronounce it, have you guys in the comments any Spanish people or, or anybody from Real Sociedad fans wanna tell me how you guys pronounce that second name because no matter how how I'll say it I'll butcher it um, yeah, Grant gave us the lead early on and a strong start for the Baggies. Um, but they would make an attack here. Did Thomas finally get to Bowen? Uh, who, by the way, in real life, you guys saw him against Aston Villa. He is a baller. I bet the whole fans miss him. He is an absolute class player. You know, the fact he's playing Championship football. Um, just a couple of years ago, he could have been a Cardiff player actually. I remember, but um, still didn't end up happening. And then Vlasic, um, in other words, Vlasic gives West Ham the lead before um, before the the second half, uh, which really gives a dag because I thought we were the better team. Looking at the stats as well, higher xG, more shots, more possession. I, I I don't know what it is, but on FIFA, I never really have a lot of passes, but I say this, if you're struggling to get goals, like, long shots have been so OP. Long shots are so OP in this game, that, um, you've got to, if you can't find a way past your opposition defence, just let it rip. Most of the time, and I know Docs has said this too in his video, so I'm probably quoting him on this, but most of the time, you're either going to get a deflection for a corner, or you're going to get it on target somehow, because long shots are just really OP. Okay, well, so she's there trying to do more business for us, for our Brazilian hot shot talent, and Rade, if you reject, disappointing simulated loss here to Leicester, obviously, I can't play all the games, I think that's... That's too much editing, editing for me to, to play all the games and get them into highlights. I realised that throughout um, season two and, and last year in my Arsenal career mode that playing every single game of the season, the series just goes on too long. And I'd rather have short episodes and have more series to, to give you guys. Um, obviously, I don't know when I'll start my creator club. I think I'll do a creator club after maybe one or two more career modes kind of want to go to some other teams around the world not in England um, potentially doing a series in Germany I think if you guys want to see that a series in Germany most likely will, will be what happens next I won't tell you the team because that would be spoiling it but it is a I wouldn't say fallen giant but a team that should be doing better than they're doing and should have more titles to their name. They're going into the Tottenham match. We did not start off well here. Obviously, Tottenham, in other words, actually sacked Nuno Espirito Santo um, just this morning, actually. And heavily rumoured now to appoint Conte. I think they should have gave Nuno more time, but obviously, I've never really been a fan of Nuno for obvious reasons. He managed Wolves. I don't really like the guy. It's because he managed Wolves. He got them to the Prem, got them Europa League, and yeah. Just didn't really like that. Uh, but look, he's not a bad coach in all honesty. I felt like they should have given him longer than 10 Premier League games because realistically, Tottenham squad isn't that good. I don't know what they're expecting um, because I believe Nuno's do doing probably the most he can with the squad he's got. And f for him to only get the amount of games he's got, and for me, that's just not fair, is it? Um, now, 2 1 down at half time. Thought we could potentially get something from the game, or whether a dagger into our hearts as um, it was 3 1. Things wouldn't get much better there as it would go 4 1. 
as um, yeah, a pretty poor performance all round by me. I mean, I admit it here, I suck at defending on this game. Uh, I just don't know what it is. Maybe it's the quality of defenders. I thought it was the system we played because we played with two midfielders, and we were just getting we were just getting opened up, but. It isn't that because I've conceded five in this game, um, but we can score. That is something we can do, especially with Grant and our team. Grant is just a, quite a beast on this game. I just love using Grant on this game. Just feels so good. And um, as well, last year he was just a beast. I don't know what it is, but FIFA have made Grant really overpowered. I mean, I think it's just like in real life, he's overpowered, and in game he's overpowered too. Like now and. Unexpected person to score here was a, a Scarlet against his former team, um, who hasn't really done th that good first season in the championship. I expected him to be a really good super sub. The fact of the matter is, I simulate in most games in the simulation, they don't really bring the play off the bench. That's probably why he wasn't that good. But anyway, anyway we lost 6 3 to, Tot uh, to Tottenham, leaving us second bottom. Uh, this was our Conference League group. I wanted to show you guys. But this is the end of the episode, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care.